Good evening, and welcome to another edition of It's Saturday Night. Do you know where your love is at? With your host, The Stroke. Oh yeah, baby. of it's Saturday night. Do you know where your love is at? Do you? I, of course, am your A number one bona fide sexy some bitch of a host. The stroke. That's right, babies. You go on ahead and take that all in. <laughs> Damn right, baby. All right, baby. So, uh, in my line of work, you come across some strange and unusual and fascinating people. And when I say come across, I mean figuratively and literally. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Uh, so tonight, I want to I talk about love of a different kind. You see, tonight I'm going to bring you a tale of, of revenge. Okay? Now, this day, this goes back about... 10 years or so, I was working this, uh, this joint called the Scuttlebutt out of Bow Legs, Oklahoma, and, uh, we had a guy there, he ran the door, the bouncer, I guess you would say the bouncer, he was a, a good gentleman, very soft-spoken, but not the type you'd ever want to cross. Anyhow, we'll call him Dave, for the sake of this, uh, this whole conversation, this whole story I'm gonna regale you with. <laughs> All right, baby, so revenge. That's what this story's all about. I remember one night we was closing up shot at shop at the scuttlebutt. Man, yeah, you can blame this motherfucker right there. Anyways, I'm not editing, I don't give a fuck. You just gonna have to deal with it. Uh we were closing up shop at the scuttlebutt, you know, around around the time we close up and you know tips are divvied out and people are milling about and moving on out i like to hang out at the bar and i just so happened to be hanging out at the bar with dave we'll call him dave like i said and i was looking at dave and he just looked he looked upset i said dave what what's going down man what, you're usually a pretty optimistic fella like what what's going down with you you look a little a little weary tonight and he he just broke down. I ain't never seen a grown man cry like that before, but he broke down and he told me a story. He said, listen, Stroke, I ain't spoke about this in years. I gotta tell you about Porter Street, 2007. The story goes like this. Apparently, Dave's little brother had embarrassed, you know, some some guy, I don't know, this guy was hooked up somehow. He was, he was a big deal in the neighborhood. You know, You'll understand what I mean in a second when I get further into the story, deeper <laughs> into the story. Apparently, uh, Dave's little brother embarrassed this gentleman. And I won't call him a gentleman because uh, I'm going to call him a piece of shit. He embarrassed him. And so uh, the guy felt like it was necessary for him to retaliate. And how he retaliated, he killed Dave's little brother. Now, uh, this was written off by some, some folks... Let's say, the badges. And we don't really know why, but like I said, this gentleman was uh, quite connected, apparently. So after months and months of the neighborhood wouldn't talk, that speaks to how connected this guy was. After months of nobody saying anything, even though everybody knew who it was, even Dave knew who it was. Action had to be taken. So Dave tells me he took action and killed this man. And then he cut out of town. <laughs> now, he says he keeps moving around anytime he feels the heat coming for him. And I don't know what he means by heat. I don't know if he means, uh, you know, law enforcement or perhaps people this gentleman or person this piece of shit was connected to. I don't know. And I was like, well, damn, Dave, that's, that's one hell of a fucking story. That's pretty fucking heavy, man. And I don't blame you for killing that man. I really don't. 
well, why do you feel so, like, why, why are you looking so sad tonight? And he had told me, he's like, it's the anniversary of my brother's death. And it just reminds me of what I gave up to avenge my brother's death. And I was like, oh, well, hot damn, Dave. Yes, me, that's love. That ain't nothing you should be shameful for. You, you avenged the death of your younger brother when nobody else would. Yeah, that's love. Two days later, Dave was gone. I didn't know what happened to him. He just up and disappeared. I hope Dave's doing all right. I really do. The babies, raise a cup up for Dave and his sacrifice that he made for his brother. Dave, if you're watching, and I don't suspect you will be, good on you, baby. I hope you're safe. I hope you're sound, and I hope you found peace. I hope you found peace. So, babies, that's what this tonight's episode was about. It was about a, a different type of love. Like, we can talk all fancy and everything. We can talk about how, you know, we love this person, we love that person. But what it really boils down to is the type of sacrifice you're willing to make for said love. Strokes make plenty of sacrifices. Dave made the ultimate sacrifice, and I, like I said, I don't blame him. I ain't even mad at him. I think more power to you. Motherfucker probably had it coming. Hmm. All right, babies. That's about it for tonight. I know I'm going to keep it short, which I promised you I never would. But uh, we're talking about on camera. Not in the, in the flesh. <laughs> Thank you, babies, for joining for another edition of It's Saturday Night. Do you know where your love is at? Dave knows where his love is at. <laughs> I hope each and every single beautiful, handsome, sons of bitches know exactly where your love is at. I, of course, have been your A number one bona fide sexy son bitch of a host, The Stroke. And I'm going to give you what you want right now. <laughs> Damn right. Thanks for joining. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Stroke on.